This is the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm John Irwin. Today our topic is special databases in zinc. This work comes to you from the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. And our topic is special databases in zinc. And these are databases that we've prepared and as far as we know, they aren't really comparable to any other database that you'll find out there. So we thought they're interesting and we thought we'd point them out to you. Uh, you can um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can follow us on uh, Twitter, or you can like us on Facebook. So let's get started, shall we? So we're at zinc.docking.org in our browser, and there's a link down the bottom that says special subsets, and this takes you directly there, but you can also find it by going to subsets, properties, subsets with interesting properties, and then clicking on the special tab. And as you can see, there are nine special subsets at the moment. Let's go through them, shall we? So the first one, I'm just going to talk to you about these subsets for a minute. So the first one is called ZDD. This is the Zinc Drug Database. These are uh, compounds that have been approved for use in man somewhere in the world and uh, that you can purchase. So there's 6,869 of these compounds. And you can go to them simply by clicking on the overview button here um, and, and browsing them. And each one of these molecules will have a, a biological activity, a known biological activity as a drug, and they'll also be commercially available as powders. So the second database is, is called ZMD, Zinc Metabolite Database. Now these are all commercially available um, metabolites, compounds that have been that are in the metabolite databases, that is to say, KEG via PubChem, uh, 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 HMDB, and a uni um, MetaPsych uh, database. Um, so same thing applies. So now the zinc natural products, uh, ZNP number 98, is uh, all commercially available natural products. These are molecules that are called natural products. Um, in databases, and uh, these are also, uh, this also includes metabolites. So metabolites are natural products. Uh, number 99 is called ZBB. These are zinc building blocks, all commercially available synthetic building blocks. Now ZBB includes both molecules that are available on the shelf, but also that are available, um, uh, some of them are going to be uh, make-on-demand compounds. And for if you want compounds that are on the shelf that are already made, you want to use ZBB now, number 100, which is building blocks for immediate delivery. And as you can see, there's a big jump from about 2 million down to about 350,000. And I should point out that these molecules have been filtered for stability in... Uh, in reaction in uh, assay conditions, so this isn't these aren't all building blocks in the world. These are building blocks that are consistent with uh, uh, assay conditions. Um, so, so the usual zinc filters. Uh, the database called ZND is natural derivatives. This is a small database so far, but a few vendors identify their compounds as being derivatives of natural products. So chemically modified natural products. And, and so we wanted to honor that by keeping track of them in a separate database. Um, now there's two databases I'm going to skip over for now. The, uh, the, um, these are both natural product analogs. So these are natural product strict substructures and natural product like. And I'm not going to talk about those today because they're, we're still developing them. But they're going to be available very soon. And the idea is for the compounds that are either natural products or look a lot like natural products can be quite interesting for uncovering uh, biological mechanisms. And the last subset to show you today is Zim, Zinc in Man. And these are experimental compounds that have been in man, so typically in clinical trials uh, worldwide. So this includes drugs, and but also uh, nutraceuticals, but also uh, compounds that have been in phase one and and so uh, there's uh, some precedent for dosing them in humans. And as you can see, at 16,000, uh, that's a little bit higher than the drug database at about 7,000. All right, so in all, you get all the features that you'd expect with, uh, with zinc. So when you click on these, you get a subset, and you're already used to seeing these sorts of things for other subsets, physical properties, uh, downloads. You have all the buttons, including uh, downloading to Windows and Unix. And um, 
You get information, scripts, sample molecules, detailed views. You can see the original molecules that go into it. And so um, we hope you find that useful. And so uh, this has been a Chemistry for Biology presentation, Special Databases in Zinc. And these databases we've created for you to use. We hope they're useful. Uh, there's certainly things that we find interesting. And if you use them, let us know right on our Facebook page, which you can see below, or send us a tweet, or, or even upload a video comment on YouTube. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, this work was supported by the NIH. Thank you. See you next time.